Fox Sports thanks you for watching this presentation of the National Football League. For NFL news and highlights, go to NFL.com. If Brock 29 passes, it would shut down my clinic and I could possibly die. This proposition sucks. Why are we here again? Myself and 80,000 other dialysis patients, our lives are at stake. Vote no on Prop 29. I never thought in my wildest dreams I had a problem with my kids. And then when my whole existence changed. If Prop 29 passes, clinics will close and people will die. It's as simple as that. Vote no on 29. It just, again, reminded us that we are not alone. We are part of this huge community. Plus, we've got the story of Carter Stone and how Agora Hills High School is honoring his tragic death by trying to be more like him. Sports Rap starts right now. Fox 11 Sports Wrap, brought to you by Agua Caliente Casinos. Play it safe and play confidently as we are ready to serve with the best in white glove service. Experience all Agua Caliente Casinos has to offer in a safe, clean environment that has set the industry standard. Agua Caliente Casinos, a heart for safety and the award to prove it. Palm Springs, Rancho Mirage, and Cathedral City. Well, hi, everybody. Happy Sunday to you. Welcome inside our Fox 11 studios. Great to have you with us. We talk football week five in the NFL. I'm Kyle Kresk along, as always, with Ron Pitts. And Ron, we are reminded once again that there is no substitute for a good offensive line in the NFL. The Rams could certainly use some help there. Boy, changes guard center, guard combination down to their third center. And you knew at some point, if it hadn't shown, it was going to really show big. I think today was that day going up against a very good defense, a front four in the Dallas Cowboys. It started early, they got pressure, another sack, another turnover, and that seems like we played this song before. Yeah, well, we saw the Rams in week one, Matthew Stafford getting sacked seven times, and then last week getting sacked seven more times to the 49ers, and then you come in, like you said, against a very good pass rush in yeah. the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, they played from behind, not a big score, 9-3. But that was just enough that the Rams couldn't get comfortable. They never were able to run the football, and that was a big difference, Kyle. They couldn't get that going. They became one-dimensional, and they were going uphill the whole time. All right, well, let me take a look at the highlights, and then we'll do.